Happy Halloween from me, Ian Bread and Cumber. As you can see, a pumpkin, the perfect size, color, weight, shape, all of it to carve what will hopefully be an awesome jack o' lantern. And I do one for my kids every year. So I thought what we do is get a beautiful pumpkin. It sounds a bit like you're opening a tent, right? It's got that like vinyl kind of <laughs> zipper sound. You want to be bloody careful that you don't, because there's nothing scarier than a Halloween project with a long knife and real blood. <laughs> Don't freak the kids out at home. Once you've got this part, the fun starts. I love the smell of raw pumpkin in the morning. It smells like Halloween. I'll tell you what, these seeds are really great for a, prote a healthy protein snack. I don't know if it's Tim Noakes friendly. I don't care if it is, as you can tell. Let's do the Jacko eyes so they can see what's going on. Ah! No, I'm kidding. I didn't cut myself here. Kids, don't try this at home. Adults, don't try this at home. Check this out after years of design and... Ah! We have a mouth! What you would want to do for Halloween tonight is carve one of these. It took me 15 minutes and very little skill. <laughs> okay. The real cool part is at night, find little tea... Ca you know those little tea candles you get with the little things on the... Stick a couple of them in here, light it up, Put the lid on so the, so the southeaster doesn't extinguish it. And then leave it on your stoop this evening. Will it frighten other children away? Probably, which means you'll save on trick-or-treating. Will it look awesome? Absolutely. Will it make a great picture on your Facebook page? <laughs> oh, guaranteed. That is the Ian Brodenkamp tutorial, the dummy's guide, the idiot's version on how to carve your own jack-o'-lantern. Happy Halloween.